And how can I deal with this nafs? How do I do that? Once I know my nafs, if I know. Note that you always start with, I know, right? If I don't know, I can't go anywhere. Knowledge is empowerment. Knowledge is empowerment. If I don't know, I am powerless. That's why knowledge of the source of knowledge is the ultimate knowledge, and it leads to the ultimate happiness. But it always begins with, I know. If I don't know, I have not even begun the process. So the process begins where? Knowing. Pursuit of ilm. Seeking ilm. The schools that you have built, the masjid that you have, all are important and necessary and vital means for attaining ilm. That ilm which enables you and helps you and helps us undertake the path back to Allah Azza wa Jal, back home. Not any ilm. There is fatty ilm. There is ilm that when you take that ilm, it's a fatty diet. Because what we need for this nafs to be balanced is number one, ilm. And there is ilm that is fardu ayn, and there is ilm that is fardu kifaya. Ilm that is obligatory on every single individual Muslim. There is no difference in that ilm between a scholar, a alim, a mujtahid, and a non-scholar. Al-ma'loomu min ad dini bil darura Every Muslim must know. There is no difference between you and a mujtahid. You must know it and the mujtahid must know it, obviously. We have no excuse with Allah Azza wa Jal on the day of judgment to say, Ya Allah, I didn't know when it comes to furud al-a'yan and the cleansing of the qalb, the polishing of the qalb, the tazkiyah of the nafs, the knowledge that is necessary for it and the practice of it are that ilm that is fardu ayn also. As you know, the knowledge of how to perform salah is fardu ayn. The knowledge how, of how to establish zakah when you have property is fardu ayn. The knowledge of how to fast properly is fardu ayn. The knowledge of how to perform hajj is fardu ayn. The knowledge of how to remember Allah Azza wa is fardu ayn. And so on. The knowledge of being an engineer or a scientist is fardu kifaya. It's a collective duty. If some people are doing it, not everybody has to do it. If some people are functionally fulfilling the needs of a community in terms of one of the worldly needs, then not everybody has to. But for al ayan Everyone has to. Al ma'loomu min ad dini bil darura. Everyone has to. And I cannot begin, begin my path back to Allah Azza wa Jal without this ilm. I just cannot. We do not go to Allah with ignorance. We do not. Allah Azza wa Jal defines the mission of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam within the context of the purpose of creation, namely the fulfillment of Ubudiyah to Allah Azza wa Jal. Within this context, Allah Azza wa Jal defines the mission of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as a mission of imparting knowledge, ilm, and second of polishing and purifying the nafs. وَالَّذِي بَعَثَ فِي الْأُمِّيِّينَ رَسُولًا مِّنْهُمْ يَتْلُوْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِهِ وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ وَيُعَلِّمُهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةَ وَإِنْ كَانُوا مِنْ قَبْلُ لَفِي ضَلَالٍ مُّبِينٍ Allah clearly in this ayah and three other ayat very explicitly in the Qur'an and many other ayat also in the Qur'an Allah Azza wa Jal tells us how to attain that happiness how to get to, the, to finish the journey of Ubudiyah successfully back home by two things. Ilm number two, tazkiyah. 
How do I beautify this inner image? How do I do that? Ilm and tazkiyah. 